first, you mentioned in your earlier answer, you talked about the criminalization of politics, but you also mentioned it wasn't about whether it's right or wrong. Do you think that former President Trump's actions were wrong on January 6th? And separately, do you think that gay and transgender people should serve openly in the military on a separate topic? Okay, so the second one we said we're not going to do the, the transgender or the gender ideology, um, and that's, that's a mission readiness. That had been the policy prior to Biden. He's changed it. Uh, he's included the sex change and all that. So we're going to go back to pre-Biden um, on the gender ideology uh, for that. Uh, so look, there's a difference between being brought up on criminal charges and, and doing things. Like, for example... Um, I think it was shown how he was in the White House and didn't do anything while, while things were going on. Uh, he should have come out more forcefully, of, of course that. But to try to criminalize that, that's a, diff that's a different issue entirely. And I think that we, we want to be in a situation where, you know, you don't have one side just constantly trying to put the other side in jail. And, and that, unfortunately, is, is uh, what we're seeing now. So there's, um, again, I have, I just, someone had whispered this to me, so I'm sure I'll have a chance to, to look at this uh, in the future, uh, depending on, on the developments, but, but I kind of uh, what I was going to do. Okay, well, uh, thank you all. It's great to be here. Um, God bless everyone, and let's get this military back to focusing on mission first. Thank you.